My name is Ash. So Ash, if you're writing acrylic, pronounce like Ash. Um, so I don't speak Russian fluently, and so I will speak English. But as you notice, I have a strange uh, New Zealand accent. So please, so that may make it difficult for you to understand me. So if there's anything I say that you don't understand, please just ask. Okay, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'll repeat. Okay. Um, so today I'd like to talk about a subject called topology, which is, you may, you're probably quite familiar with geometry, but topology is like geometry, but it's a little bit different. So to give you an idea of, what is topology? To give you an idea of the difference between uh, topology and geometry, uh, I'm going to draw a picture. So, and I'd like you to tell me, what is the, what is the object I drew there? Triangle. Triangle, okay. And so, what tells you, what is it? What are the properties that, that tell me it's, uh, it's, a pro uh, it's a triangle? What, if you were to define what a triangle is, what would you say? Angles and sides. What? Okay, so how Values many... Values of angles and sides. How many sides does it have? Three. Okay, and what is a side? Mm, uh, a line between two... Vertex. Uh, between two, uh, between two, two vertices. Two would this be a side? No, no it's straight. a straight line. So it's going to be a straight line, okay. And how many does it have corners? Mm. Vertices? Three. Also. Three vertices, okay. And so three vertices can combine sides, and those sides are straight. Straight. Yes. Now, if you if you were to come up to the board and look at my lines, would you tell me that's a perfectly straight line? No, no but it's supposed to be. Straight. It's supposed to be. Okay. So you're already being quite generous with me. Yeah. Okay. So. If I, if, imagine, imagine it was an, an earthquake. Um, Zemla Tersenia? Uh, is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, earthquake. Ma imagine there was an earthquake happening. I tried to draw my triangle. And I start, and then I... Oh, well, I, you know, there's this terrible earthquake, and so I can't really do a very good triangle and do this. Would you, would you still call that a triangle? You still call that a triangle? Mm, not really. But you know, is it an attempt at a triangle? And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm on a boat and I try and I do, that's the best I can do. That's my triangle. Is that a triangle? No, no, please. Um, yes. It looks almost like a triangle, but it's look, things look like a circle almost, isn't it? Okay, so, but this is the point. So geometry, in geometry, if you're in an exam and they say draw a triangle, you draw something like this. You probably wouldn't draw this. But if you're in a topology exam or in your topology class, a to a topologist, these are all the same. We don't have, uh, in topology, we don't have edges. Well, we don't have straight lines. We don't have corners. And so the idea is, imagine, imagine this triangle made out of wire, or something like this. <laughs> and you could, if you, if you took the wire with your hands, you could bend it until you get a circle. Okay, so to, in topology, we're allowed to, so in topology, if two objects differ by sort of stretching, uh, stretching, Bending, but no cutting. Bending is a gnut. Stretching is a restyagivat. Bending and stretching, then they're the same. Cutting is a nilzia rezat. For example, the circle is the same as this little circle. Okay, just shrink down the circle. Imagine it's a very malleable material. Okay. So topologists is like if you like the uh, one, I'm not sure the translation, but you might say um, a word that would be good for you. Maybe primitive geometry. Maybe a more fancy word is naive, but I don't know. It's like geometry, but we don't, we, we're not too fussy. We're not fussy. Uh, that's the English word. I'm not sure the tra now Russian translation of the word fussy. Yeah, particular. Um, particular is особенность. А что такое фаси, я не знаю. Фаси, это... Like, you're going to a store, 
and you know you, you, you're fussy. You, you 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 don't like this shirt. You don't like this shirt. You know, you want to find the right shirt. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's maybe in English. In, in general, yeah. В смысле, не беспокоиться. Да. Тополок – это э, геометр, который… Фаси, you mean, if you… Фаси, вот я и тут, смотрите. Расплучатый, расплучатый. Фаси, фаси, like фаси, лоджик. Да, 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 фаси, фаси. Фаси. Like, this chalk, if I'm fussy, I don't like that chalk because it's… Wait a second, I'll translate it. It's better. So it leaves. Ну да, не беспокоиться. Спасибо, все понятно. So that's a train poised. Um, a train, how many directions, if you're sitting on a train, how many directions does a train go? How many directions? Two. Two, so that's forward and back. And back, okay. Now you could say forward, back. But I could say back is going forward in the negative direction. Oh. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Then one. So just one direction, I go positive that way, and I go negative that way. So one direction. So take it forward, and go back. So you would say the train can move. The train. Mm. One. Okay, what if what if the train or you were on a circle? A circle. It's imagine you here, on the edge of the circle, you've been shrunken down. How many directions can you go on the circle? Still well, one. There's so still one direction, just go forward and back. So this guy is also so on the circle. Mm. And just while I've drawn these, what, what are, can you describe what is the difference between the circle and this, this line I've drawn here? Can you, so they've both got one dimension. Can you can you see anything that will distinguish the two things? Well, if you if you go if you if you follow the line, you don't return to the same point, and if you follow the circle, you uh, once uh, will return yeah. to the place. So if we, if we continue along the circle, Magellan, Magellan, around the world. Do do one circumference. Then you then you return to yourself. Whereas if you're on the line, to here and then well, you fall off. <laughs> so so you can't return to yourself. So there's that's one. So we've already seen that these objects are somehow different. And you gave a, a one one has an edge and one one doesn't. So that's and that's how a topologist thinks of things. We we decide we examine objects. We decide that ob objects are different. By looking at certain properties, so if they differ by this one has an edge and this one doesn't have an edge, then they must be different. So we look at certain properties. Okay, a circle is one dimension. What about what about the surface of the Earth? How many dimensions? So if we're on the Earth. How many how many directions can I walk? Two. Two. Can I walk in three directions? Three different mm, directions. Yes. No, not really. I mean, you're on the surface. Yeah. If you were, if if Earth was like a uh, swimming pool, then you could, yeah, then you would be. I'm glued. I'm glued. I'm not allowed to. Three directions. I'm not allowed to do like this. What? I'm I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to jump. Yeah. I was. Он спрашивает, может ли он прыгать? I'm not allowed to jump. Yeah, then two directions. Two directions. So what is what is this bit? Okay, so two directions. But I can go this way. I can go this way. It's two, but I can just go that way. That's uh, a combination of translation. This on this direction and this direction. Oh, I, I mean, see. So if I go this way, I, it's the same as me going this way, and then this way. Yeah. So two two defining directions. This way and that way. Okay. So this guy. 
student. Okay, and what if I can fly? How many dimensions would I have then? Three. And fly. Three, okay. So I fly, and move up, move up. Yeah. A fly moves in three, in three dimensions. Right? Okay, one, two, three. Can we go higher? So now imagine, imagine the fly. I don't know how to draw a fly. Everybody <laughs> should try. Imagine the fly has a has a wristwatch. The fly buzzing around. Okay. So let's just, let's see if we can describe a four dimensional space. So on the one hand, so let's start. Let's return to three dimensions. So at each point, so the fly is buzzing around. On each, at each point that the, the fly is, we're going to associate uh, some coordinates. Do you guys, have you seen coordinates? Yeah. So these are like here, x, y, c. Have you ever seen this? Yeah. So x might be the direction. So this is the idea of So if here's my origin, maybe that's my x direction, that's my y direction, and this is my z direction. So each point on the fly, we can give it an x, y, and z uh, ordinate. Okay, so that that would say that's moving in three in three dimension. But imagine we give it an extra uh, ordinate. We say the fly also knows what the time is. Okay, it's got a wristwatch. Okay, so at each time, it's where it, at each point in its journey, it's going to tell us what the time is. Okay, so now the fly is giving us a each point on the fly, we have an x, y, z, and a t ordinate. So now the fly is moving in a four-dimensional space. Okay. So, for example, if, if it, even if it's not moving, if it's fixed, stuck somewhere, just sitting on the floor, time is still progressing. Okay, so it's still it's where it's moving along different points in time. Okay. So, so four-dimensional space, uh, you know, physicists often think of four-dimensional space because they're thinking of space with a, a time coordinate as well. And you can imagine you could... So that would be time. But maybe the fly also has a... I'm not sure how to say in Russian. Thermometer, uh, measuring the temperature. Temperature? Yeah, um, yeah. So maybe it also recalls the temperature at its, wherever it is. And so now it's moving in a five dimensional space. And you could go on. So you can see that conceptually, just because. So you're familiar with three dimensional space because that's what we move around in. But it isn't a stretch to be thinking about high dimensional space. So these come up all the time. Okay, and so today, or maybe if we don't get to it, um, we'll look at how to, to visualize high dimensional space. Okay, so let's. Today we want to. We're going to focus on two dimensional objects. So these these things like this. Сегодня будет двумерный объект. Today we'll look at two dimensions. So two D two D D means two dimensions. Yeah. And the the formal word for these kind of things is a surface. Поверхности. Поверхность. Uh, so surface of surface of this disk. And so we've already seen this guy. So this guy's called the surface of the Earth. That's called a sphere. Two sphere. Sphere. Uh, another sort of topologist. Now, what about the oh, so like the uh, a football. So the, the surface of a football. That's a sphere. What about um, I'm not sure I can draw a banana skin. Banana. My banana. Okay. The surface of banana is also a sphere to a topologist. Okay, we can shrink, just shrink it down a little bit. Okay. Um, what are some other? What are some other objects? So another one, which we'll construct today, is okay, so now. This is one I should know, but I don't. I don't know. How do you say donut? So in in Dorn. is a word donut. Dorn. Oh. So you know uh, tor. So, well, that's offensive. Word. Tor is Russian for torus, yeah. so this is called a torus. But the, the so 
And the torus is the boundary or the surface of a, what we say in English, a donut. Uh, Bublik. Pointic. Bublik. Okay. It's not a mathematical term. No, no, no. This is not mathematical. This is not. This is a. This is a torus. It's a two-dimensional object. Because if you if you sit on the torus, you have two directions to go. One and two. And so now today we're going to look at how. So there are lots of lots of two-dimensional objects, but sometimes they're hard to draw. You can't always just draw them on a board like this. And so we'll see today how to go about describing describing objects that we can't draw on a picture. So that's, that's much of what a topology is about. Topology is about is being able to describe things mathematically that you can't necessarily just draw. Just, um, I, wanna, I, th I thought of something in, that, in the break. Can, in, in your geometry class, can you think of uh, two... A different different object in your geometry class, which would a topologist would also call a sphere. Let me let me start you off. So what about a tetrahedron? So in geometry, would you say that these two things are the same? No. But in topology, we would say they're the same. Okay. So what else? What else would we also call a sphere from your geometry class? What's the a next cube, thing up? A cube. cube? Okay, so it's cube would also be. Okay, and while I've got this torus here. Okay, so this torus, is that a sphere? No. Why? A hole in the middle. Yeah, because it's got a hole in the middle. Got yeah. a hole in the middle. Okay, so how do you write? How do you say that mathematically? How do you define a hole? Well, that, uh, there are two points in the torus. The, oh, no. the hole won't disappear. Will, will the hole will disappear if we will touch, but it won't disappear if we will bend, bend, or. What does it mean? How? No. 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 Конвекс, но в данном случае это не имеет малейшего значения, потому что можно издевать. Mm -hmm. Поэтому выпуклый или нет, неважно. На самом деле разница в том, что на сфере любая кривая стягивается в точку, а меридиан на торе не стягивается. Can be uh, stretched, but not stretched, but into a point, you know, transformed into a point. Uh, each circle, maybe. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. circle, maybe line, just mm -hmm. anything. Reduced to, to a point. Yeah, reduced. To well, that's the same on a torus or a. Yeah. Well, but n not each line on a torus can be uh, transformed. No, no, point. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. I mean that. The circle, 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 circle. circle. That's right. So the circle. Yeah. I draw the circle, and I draw a circle here. I can fill up the circle on the two sphere. It's always gonna have some step in between it, like this in between it. But on this, on the torus, I can't fill up that disc on the torus because I have to put this hole. So. So this hole is detected by saying, uh, whenever I draw a circle on the surface, if I can fill it up with a disk on the surface, then I don't have a hole. But if I can't, then I must have a hole somewhere. So that's what topology is about. It's about so intuitively, we see these things are different, but how can we formulate that mathematically? And, and you did that exactly right. Okay. Now, so those are only Oh, two. I remember they were true. Shrink. Yeah, shrink. You can't. You can't shrink the circle yeah. on the on the torus down to a point, but you can shrink this one. Yeah. Which is the same as saying it bounds a disc because you can think of this disc as a bunch of the trace of your shrinking down. Whereas here you can't do it. But it was a circle, not a not a line. Okay. Good. And so now I'd like to get our hands dirty. 
and build some surfaces, okay? So, I think I have some. Have you ever seen diagrams like this? When you're building tetrahedron and that kind of thing? Okay, so let me explain this. So what I've given you are pictures of what we're going to call gluing diagrams. Leaving you. So, for example, in the first picture, arrows mean, so now just that this, the dotted line doesn't have any significance. What this gluing diagrams mean is that you've got a you've got a, a surface, your sheet of paper, and what you're going to do is you're first you're going to cut out the triangle, and you're going to glue, glue so that this edge pointed this way is going to be glued to this edge going this way. So that's what the arrow means. And similarly, this edge going this way is going to be glued to this edge going this way, and this one to this one. Okay? So do you think you can do that for me? So, scissors out. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so please cut out your, your triangle and bend, fold it in such a way that you can glue this to the edge. Can you cut it with a hand? Can you cut it with a hand? Yes, I didn't understand. The first step, so I, 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 this, these, these are dotted lines, they might help you to fold it. So you don't, do you need some tape? Do we have some spare? I can share some tape. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have one roll, but mm -hmm. if you need, you can count. Thank you. Oh. You might have sharpened now with the ideas. Okay, so what have you got there? To a topologist, what is that object? Sphere. A sphere, okay. And if you're a head, you can then try it with this guy. Remember that to a topologist, we're not fussy, so it can look, it doesn't have to look, uh, we, we're, not, we're not worried if it doesn't have perfectly not sharp edges, because it all just spheres anyway.
Okay, so that the one. Can you, can you see that's a sphere? Mm. So what's wrong with it? Well, the, that actually is a sphere, but it's a plane, I guess. Well, that's not a topological thought, but it has no volume. It has no volume? So which, which part did I tell you to glue? This one, this one. The edges? So what about the inside? Is that side glued to that side? No, it isn't. So there's something inside there? Yes. So for example, you got a little bit of paper. You could stick it inside. Okay. So you can give it a little bit. Okay, so it's uh, like uh, I'm not sure how to say pillowcase when you when you yeah. go to bed. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like That's a pillowcase. Does your pillowcase have uh, inside and inside? Uh, well, uh, well, it has a pillow inside. It has a pillow inside, so yeah. it's not it's not flat. Yeah. So it is just like a it is just like a sphere. Well, I already said that it's not a logical thought because, well, as I understand, uh, the two D topology only uh, thinks about the surface, it's not about the volume. Am oh right? yes, you, yes, yeah. volume isn't a top of the topology. You're absolutely right. Um, but I thought sorry, I thought you were saying this isn't a sphere. So the idea is it is a sphere because you yes, just glued. Yes. So if you were to blow inside it, you'd fill it up. It's not as, not as pretty yeah. as a net sphere. So for, for the rest of you, when you're building the other one, if you stick a bit of paper on the inside, then you can get a bit of puffiness to it so it doesn't look flat. seen that I think we could describe a sphere just by drawing a picture and drawing arrows on it. Yeah. So instead of having to build it, I could just draw that and we could say that's a sphere. Yeah. And on the other hand, there isn't a unique way to do that because I could also draw this picture and we'd also agree that it also is a sphere. You've also got two spheres? Yeah. Uh -huh. We had a competition to see who has the most sphere like sphere on the pillowcase. So, this one. Which one looks closest to a sphere when you finished? To a human or to a topology? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> to a human. To a human. Uh, this one. That one. But if we just look at the other ones. <laughs> oh, so you're talking okay, to a human? This looks like a sphere. Uh, uh, Implicitly, uh, you were saying. To a human, this looks more like a, more like a sphere than this one. Implicitly, you were hinting that a topologist isn't a human. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which may be true. So why is it a sphere and not a triangle? Because it has, because it has this mm -hmm. side and this side, and uh, they're connected. Because we can go like this. Is there? Is there? Are there? So this is a triangle, or is there? Or is there so for example, is this point here? Is it different to this point here? Aha, uh -huh, so you are on some sort of surface. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we're drawing a triangle, then there's no other, no other side to it. That you have some inside your, your sphere. Okay, are we all finished? Okay, hold up your spheres. Which one, to a human, looks the most sphere-like? Yes. 
Вот это для тебя больше похоже на шар, чем вот это. Well, apparently Hume said it's a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron. Тетрахиджин это тетраэдр. So what are about most most feel like? Tetrahedron. Okay. Hold this. Okay, well, we reconstructed them. Uh, so apparently, this class has been building spheres all week long. Just right. So that they, they, the, the, the point is that to describe a sphere, I don't need a physical sphere. I just need some, a paper or a piece of board, uh, a chalkboard, and I can draw this to uh, this uh, this geometrical shape with some arrows on it, and we can agree that it's a sphere. Because when we glue it up, glue it up, we got a sphere. But there isn't a unique there isn't a unique way to do that. There isn't a single way to do that because we also saw that if I we did that, then we also got a sphere. And this will be convenient when we want to describe objects that we can't draw on the board. So here the sphere I can draw it. But sometimes there are two-dimensional object surface that we can't draw on the board. So that's a sphere. What about building uh, some other types of objects? Next activity. More cutouts. Okay. We're going to have some really good fun with the movie strip. So. so now I'd like you to do the same thing with these rectangles. Okay. So that was the top one. Uh, oh, there is no top. Uh, the one... Like, that arrow is going down. Okay, so cut out the rectangle and just glue the arrows. Just glue the arrow. Mm. So we like this Может, проще будет. Ладно. Я буду что здесь как раз клеим проще. У меня клей нет. Вон клей. Запас. Ну, Separately, so this arrow to this arrow, and this arrow to this. The glue is this guy. What are the? Can you see? What are some differences about these two? Can you just? Can you figure out any differences? Uh, one. Uh, one has only one side, and the other one has two sides. If uh, we will uh, take I mean, a pencil and yeah. we'll draw a line, so the line, the line will be uh, returned to the point where. Uh, it starts. Okay. No, so no, here it will also return, but actually, uh, ah, from no. you on here, you you have ah, no yeah. way to get from here to here. Yes. Uh, while here, if yes. you go like this, then you'll go okay. to the other side. Okay. So we'll that, yeah? Oh. So yes, yeah, so a different, so two different. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so let's hold the first, well, first one, this guy. This one. Cylinder. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask, do you guys know, know the name of this shape? It's called a cylinder. Oh, sorry. Cylinder. Cylinder. 
And what can you tell me about the cylinder? How many, does it have an edge, the cylinder? Remember earlier we were looking at the, the line and the circle. Well, on one dimension it has an edge and on the other it hasn't. Right, so when we looked at the line, we saw that we fall off if we keep it going, but here we didn't fall off. So you and, see. And in your cylinder, does it have any edges? Well, it has, Edge. but... Does it have any edges? Granite. You, if you're walking on the cylinder, could you fall off? Yes. So where would you fall off? So, so where are the edges? Yeah. Can you point to one edge? There, uh huh. There's one edge. And the other one is good. Yeah, so it has two edges. Two edges. Two edges and hands. Okay. Now, take your, on your cylinder, cylinder, I'd like you to point on the on the sorry, just on the on the middle of the on the outside and just draw a line going around the center. So start here and just draw a line. Going around. So what I need is here. Start here and just draw that line. And can you do it so that you get back to yourself? Yes. Okay. Now put a dot on the other side. Oh, well, maybe, maybe it's a little bit difficult to... Let me ask. Are there, are there two... How many sides would you say there are some of the heads? Mm -hmm. So, so what, what, how, do you know, how, how do you know it doesn't have one side? Well, because you can't get from this point to this point. Without uh, stepping this... Uh, how will you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the, the form word is boundary, but it is, it is okay. So you can't get from the inside to the... Or the outside to the inside without... No, crossing the edges. Crossing yeah. the edges, okay. What about another thing? Now, return to your line. Change your line, and as you so, what I like you to do is on your as you go. So here is your line on the cylinder. I like you to draw two arrows. One is you're going to draw an arrow labeled one, point to your right, and the two pointing straight ahead. So, so for example, so when you start with your cylinder, you can draw two arrows. Put a one here and a two here. So now you move along and you still have your one and your two. Do you see? So it's like you're putting your as you go along that line you're saying, my right is here, my right is here, my right is here. <clears throat> and tell me when you get back to your original point, is your right still on your right? <laughs> Do you match up? <laughs> Если человек идет и все время показывает перед собой и направо, проследите, что будет при прохождении пути. Все равно будет показывать перед собой и направо. Да, да, да. Поэтому... So your right stays your right when you go around. Okay, so now let's try... So the property when... So putting... One and a two, as you go along the curve, you return to what you started with. Uh, along the curve, you return the initial right, uh, straight and, and right. What if you did the same on your on your Mobius strip? So, firstly, on your Mobius strip, I'd like you to draw a line along the 
on the um, on the scene. So I, sorry, I, I, I said that, but I didn't write So this, this is the second thing. So the first was a cylinder. The second guy, could you hold up your second guy? The second object? That one, the one with the twist. So that's called a Mervius strip. Yeah. Mervius bang or Mervius strip. And, well, we've still got edges first. So, how many edges? What? So, what I'm going to do is put your pencil or pen on the on one edge. Okay, now draw along. Draw along the edge. And see if you get back to yourself. It's, it has only one edge because we really get. Yeah. So, if you put your pen on the Edge. Yes, we will get there. And you follow around, what happens? Will return. Will return? Yes. Did you get back to yourself? So let's see, so yes. start here, and we just follow around. And we got back to us. So it just says one edge. So you fold around, you, you stay on one edge. So the Mobius strip has one, has one. Okay. And and while we're here, we could probably we could see why that is on the gluing diagram. So we start on our edge. We fold it along. And we get to here. But now this point. Turns out it was glued to this point. Yeah. And so when you fold it around, come back to here, and then this point was glued to this point, and so you here. Yeah, but we'll come back to this, it's a little bit complicated. But. So you, the, the, the point is that you can actually see that that properly of only having one edge from the gluing diagram. So that, that it makes it a little bit different to see for the moment. So the Mobius is one edge. Now, what if we do, what if you do the, uh, if you Draw a line along the center, and draw a line along the center, and let's do the thing where you draw a right side, one and a straight, uh, in a four direction two. Okay, so I'd like you to draw a line along the center, and as you go along, put a one for my right and two for my front. What happens then? Very flip. Draw a line along the center. Keep track of your right hand side. They sleep. Hmm? They sleep. I mean, the right sleeps. The front stays okay, so Let's see if everyone can see you. And so you, you're going to draw the pin so that you can see it. Uh, yeah. So please get your pen, and as you go along the center line, I'd like you to draw a right and a, and a one and a two. You will need to draw a pen with a pen so that you can see through the paper. As opposed to a, a, a karandash, um, not a karandash. A pen. Pen. Ink. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that you can see through the paper. A pen. 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 Yeah. Okay, so oh, it's a difference of pronunciation. Uh, uh, yes, I've been told, I've pronounced it like pen. And that's what, that was the confusion, right? So I, I say pin, but you hear pin. Yeah. <laughs> Americans, yes, that trips up Americans as well. And so, yeah, so the reason I asked you a pin is that you could uh, see a little bit better. So did you see? Where's your right hand side? Oh, you've already cut. Um, you're a head. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so you see. So you see. So you go, go now. Keep going. No, no, so you, you're going to have to draw. I'd like you to draw along. What about you? Did you see? What happened? 
So you went around, put in the right hand. Oh, so you're already here. Yes. You saw you. Um, it was uh, uh, the room nine uh, earlier and. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I think it was. Well, let's see. So I go up on the right. Okay, we're doing left, okay? Left, left. Yeah, so do you see? From here. You keep on your left, but then you get to here, and now you're saying your left is your right. Yeah. You see that? Because, remember, we mentioned this paper is infinitely thin. So this point here is the same as this um, point. Yes. So, uh, yeah. so, so it's like a, you know, a point on a... So, so you were doing that. So the the key the key is that to remember that on on the on the surface or on okay, for example on the sphere a point on the sphere so when you when you're drawing your movie strip you notice that uh, your right if you you notice that your right became your left if you if you keep track that a point on the sphere, there's no, there's only one, there's only one surface. So if you draw a one here, and two here, then well, if you look at the, if you, if you look at the side from the under, so the point is that there's only one point here. So if you're, if you, if you see through, if you see through uh, your Mobius strip to see, so for example, on, on this excellent example. Uh, at this point, I have my right point this way, but from my other, but if I, if you, you might not be able to see this, but from the other side, uh, the the arrow is pointing the other way. It sinks through to the paper. Uh, so the reason I, I wanted you to use pen is so that here is an example. Here, so here was your 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 right was on your left, and now your right is on your right. So, so, you see, that's the reason I asked you to use pen, is that here you're saying your left is this way, and now you're saying your left is this way. And, and the point being is this point, it's the same as if I looked at the other side. There's one point. Excellent. Okay.